Hey guys, this is Matt Ramsey with the Octave Hire East Voice Studio in Austin, Texas, and this is Octave Hire TV episode six, and it starts now. Guys, you know, this isn't even really so much of a question of the week right now. Maybe this is a little bit more of a rant, but I was out uh, catching some live music uh, from a student the other night, and I was talking to some of the other musicians in his band, and the other musicians in his band were talking to me about being a voice teacher, and they were like, yeah, man, like, I've taken voice lessons before, and, uh, you know, it never really did all that much for me. You know, the voice teacher was always asking me to, like, raise my palate and, you know, like breathe, you know, from the diaphragm and stuff like that. And let me just say this, guys. Okay, so no voice teacher should be telling you to do things that you have no idea what they mean. A voice teacher should never be telling you, uh, you know, exactly where to be breathing from, uh, to where you should sing from. Sing in the mask sometimes, opera teachers say or classical teachers say, um, raise your palate. What does that mean? Who could possibly know what that means unless they've already had uh, an extensive history in anatomy and and physiology or they're an ENT, a person who specializes and is a doctor dealing with ears and nose and throat, or you're a voice teacher and you've already had lessons before. If you're just a person who's taking voice lessons for the first time, you do not need to be more confused about what you're being asked to do. Okay, sure. You know, if we have a student who's... Uh, yeah, it's a little nasal. Sure, absolutely. Okay, so maybe we need to raise the palate. Do I say to you, hey, we really need to raise the palate there? I mean, I could say that, but that's not clear at all. How, what are you supposed to do with that? Instead, maybe I'll give you, ah, uh, give me a really, really big, wide, ah, uh, like you're yawning, ah, uh, that's going to lower the larynx, that's going to raise the palate. These are things that as a voice teacher, I'm trained to, to prescribe to you to counteract some of, the, some of the bad habits or maybe some of the vocal problems that you're having. But telling you just, hey, your problem is that your palate is, is way too low. It's sounding way too nasal. Raise that palate. That's not going to help anybody. Nobody has any idea what that means. So what I want and what I love about the Institute for Vocal Advancement Technique, which I teach, is we believe in cause and effect communication, which means that I will cause you to have an effect on your voice by prescribing an exercise designed specifically to work with your voice. Okay, so instead of saying, okay, raise your palate, I'll say, sounds great. Okay, let's go ahead and do an ah, ah, ah. Say ah, ah, ah. Okay, you said it. Perfect. Now say ah, ah, ah. Okay, guess what? That palate's a little bit higher now. Larynx is maybe a little bit lower, and we've solved your problem, and I haven't gotten all bogged down in the terminology that's going to just confuse you and make you feel like you're not doing a good job. So I hope that this helps. I know it sounds like more of a rant, but do not settle for voice teachers who just tell you to do uh, things that you have no idea how to do. That is no way to progress, and you're just going to get more confused in the process. So this is Matt Ramsey with the Octifier East Voice Studio in Austin, Texas, and I hope you have a great week. Bye.